Hi guys, I'm Jeremy, and today I'll teach you how to easily write a motivation letter and get accepted into the university of your dreams. Don't believe it's possible to improve your admission chances in under five minutes? Watch and learn how you can do it in five easy steps. So you need to write a motivation letter. But wait, you've already written your CV, and you added your college transcripts, and your test scores all to your application form, and you're going crazy. What else are they asking of you now? The universities require a motivational letter to check whether your goals and education align well with their requirements and expectations. Think about it from that perspective. The cost of providing education is a huge amount of money. Would you spend it on someone who doesn't know what they want in life? Most likely not. They probably wouldn't either. So the purpose of the motivation letter is to understand whether it's reasonable to give you this academic possibility instead of someone else. But how do you convince the admission committee that you are a worthy candidate? Here's step one. Convince yourself first. Are you really sure that you want to study at New York University, for example? And what exactly do you want anyway? Does it make sense to apply to Cornell University or to Harvard or somewhere else? To answer all these questions, carefully check what the universities propose and what they expect from students. If I were to write a motivation letter for this college, I would think twice about whether I am a problem solver and innovator. As soon as you truly know what requirements speak to you, you're ready for the next step, which is step two. Show how the goals that motivate you align with the university's goals. Make this extremely clear. Here's what I mean. Harvard acceptance statistics are as follows. For every 100 applicants, only five are admitted. That's 1,000 of some of the best students from around the world that are trying to study there. Do you think they're smart young adults? Surely they are, or at least most of them. Do you think all of these people are the very best ones to make a positive impact on the world with a Harvard education? And that's the good news. Nobody knows. Neither Harvard nor any other college or university for that matter know what any of their alumni will really do when they graduate. But you do know your potential and your lifetime dreams. Deep down in your heart, you know what you want to change in the world. So let the admission committee know about it too. The whole point of the motivation letter is to make sure that you and the university have the same great goals. Now here's step three. Highlight facts and nothing except facts. Let's take some practical examples. Here are two sentences that are supposed to showcase what a great candidate you are. Which of them is more convincing? Here's the first one. I have strong time management skills, hence I am all set for a rigorous and challenging academic life. Or, I took seven classes a day and was the leader of a student organized physics study group. I managed to combine this with keeping my scores high, so I'm ready to take on a demanding schedule. The first one just names your supposed qualities, but it's abstract. How are they supposed to know what your strong time management skills are? It can mean absolutely anything, like the fact that you know how to use a clock. So be specific in your motivation letter. The first time around, write anything that you feel characterizes your best qualities. The second time, while editing your letter, think about the person reading it. What will they see? What will they imagine while reading? Do you invoke any pictures or particular details in your letter? If the answer is no, fix it. Also, with some colleges, you have a slight advantage over your peers. For example, let's say Princeton University might be searching for this or that specific quality. You can visit its website and learn what it's looking for in your cover letter. Now let's go on to step number four, presenting yourself. To write a good persuasive motivation letter, you must know how to stick to facts while fitting them into the university's requirements. Let's check some standard examples of what you may want to say about yourself. Here's one. I am a team player. Again, we want to go for facts, but still highlight your personality. Write about what you value in group work. You can mention a case where you noticed another person. Encourage them to grow and how it blossomed into a friendship or a great collaboration. Here's another one. I am a responsible person. Honestly, this phrase says almost nothing about you. It's just a hollow word. However, if you say, there was one time in my school years when I failed to meet the deadlines. I took this as a lesson and here's what I learned, so on and so forth. It demonstrates that you're a responsible person. 
Responsibility comes from understanding the consequences of your actions and learning from them, right? Another sentence. I meet your standard of academic excellence. Well, if you do, they've already seen it in your college transcript. You can repeat some information a few times throughout all your papers, but it must be something you really want to highlight. If you've got good grades, highlight them. Also, have you got examples of putting your knowledge into practice? Showcase how your education has already influenced your life or your community. Have you ever applied your knowledge to invent something, for example? Did your classes at school make you research something interesting that has influenced your life in some way? If you have nothing of this kind, well, it's about time to get into something. Just pick a topic or activity that fascinates you, experience it, reflect on it, and talk about it in your motivation letter. Finally, the last but not the least important point. This is step number five, structure your letter. One of the colleges with the largest enrollments is Texas A&M University with more than 75,000 students. Now, can you imagine just how many motivational letters a person on the admissions committee is reading? It's mind blowing. I can imagine forgetting everything from the first letter by the time I'd read the fifth letter. So if you want to be remarkable and memorable, make your motivation letter easy to read. Easier said than done, right? Here's how you do it. Choose a logical order. The content of your letter will vary depending on the college's requirements. However, you are the one to decide how to present the information. Imagine that you have a minute to present yourself. Everything in that minute must be in the first paragraphs. Everything that extends beyond that minute goes further in the text. Make it easily readable. Separate your text into concise paragraphs. Include no more than one main idea per paragraph. Did you expect tip number three? Nah. You'll be just fine with these two. No need to overcomplicate. So just a little recap of all the tips. First, think of how being a student there will benefit the university's goals as well as yours. Second, be specific. Never write vague, generic, bold statements like, my mom says I'm a nice kid. Yeah, just kidding here, but you know what I mean. And the third step, make sure to explain how you will use this education. What are you capable of? What are your big dreams? What is your greater good? If your answers align with the university's vision, you could be accepted. And here's step number four, know how to present yourself well. And step number five, work on the structure, make your letter clear, brief, and readable. That's it. Remember, you don't have to be perfect or the best to get accepted into the college of your dreams. You just have to present yourself well and choose the place that really speaks to your heart and life plans. Take care and I'll see you.